Hey guys, it's me, Swooping Goddess. It is February 4th, 2020. And um, I'm gonna be doing Tarot of the Day, but I wanted to do something just a little bit different today. Um, I kinda wanna talk a little bit about astrology and having an aha moment because me being me, I feel like I need to relay this message to you guys because I found some healing from this thing that just happened to me and I was like okay if I had this moment then someone watching you know I could give somebody the same type of feeling that I had because yesterday my energy was all over the place and it wasn't just me um I well okay so we just ended like the mercury shadow period because mercury is going to be going retrograde on the 16th this month um, which is not a bad thing. I always have to say that. I'm gonna end up doing a video about Mercury going into retrograde and a full moon in Leo video also. So make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell so you get alerted once I do these videos. They will be coming up pretty soon. But uh, what I wanted to dive into was, so we are in Aquarius season and Mercury just hit its shadow period, but it also just went into Pisces yesterday. It shifted from Aquarius into Pisces. And so, with it being Aquarius season, you might notice where you're directing your energies and what you're not putting up with and what you are putting up with. And so, because we hit the shadow period, because Mercury does rule communication, technologies, travel, documents, signing contracts, stuff like that. Um, I encountered a lot of bullshit yesterday, communication-wise, from people from the internet, in person, just, just a whole mess, and if you guys remember yesterday when I was doing my tarot of the day, like, I was like, ah, I'm trying to focus, I spilled coffee on my pillow, what you guys don't know is that it took me six videos to post the one that you guys watched and if that one didn't work I was just like I'm not gonna do this because it's not flowing it's it's not happening and I spoke to actually a few of the people that are in the same line of work as I am that do tarot readings energy work healers yada 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 and I wasn't the only one I was not the only one so many people were having the same issues there were astrologers that are like I'm taking a break I'm not doing horoscopes for this week my energy's up over here I'm not posting my tarot of the week because my energy is in this place I can't focus I noticed that, like there were less um, YouTube videos up from people that I do follow that do astrology readings tarot readings stuff like that because I really feel like it was like this shift that kind of happened with that shadow period and going into Pisces and for me I was like b before this had happened I was like oh this is gonna be like really good and yesterday I was like, wow, this really sucks. But now today I'm like, aha, now I see. Why didn't I think of this before? So Mercury going into retrograde shadow period and then aftermath, once it does leave retrograde, there's still an after shadow period as well. It's kind of like a divine intervention of like, this is what you need to work on. This is what you need to notice happening. And because we're in Aquarius season, Aquarius is a very good with like detaching from things and um not in a not not in a like a, a negative kind of sense more in the sense of like they're aware of where they're putting their energies and what resonates with their energy and what does not resonate with their energy so for me I was just yesterday I was quick to block people delete people cut people off because their energy doesn't match with mine and I can't have that type of bullshit in my life because I don't want it my energy doesn't resonate with it it's not vibing the frequency waves are like or the vibration frequencies are just completely off and I'm doing something for my energy for my space so I deleted and this wasn't just one person or two like this was multiple people I was like nope don't like this nope don't like that nope and it could be a temporary or a permanent thing that that's neither here nor there this is just what's going on so today I woke up and I was like Oh, still stressed out from everything that had happened yesterday. But I was like watching this video on um, someone that I do follow, and I was like, wow, 
it was like she was pointing out all these things that I just did with like the Aquarius season, the shadow period. And I was like, it's like I knew it, but for some reason it didn't like really click in my head. So if you guys are noticing that your energy is kind of all over the place and you're like, I need to clear my space out and I need to do this and I need to do that. That's because the Aquarius season and then Mercury shifting into Pisces is like, this energy doesn't resonate with you anymore. And it's time to go and do something different because you need to match the energy that you're bringing in that you have right now. So we're, we're kind of letting go of like things that no longer resonate and, and mean anything to us because it's like, ugh, don't want that. Time to do something different. And we're detaching. So it's not this like, oh, I need, sorry, my nose is really itchy. It's not this like feeling of like, I need this. And with Pisces being very dreamy, it's kind of like, okay, you're in this imaginative state in a sense of being what's happening right now I'm kind of like zoning out but that's not a bad thing um but anyways basically I had this aha moment that I was like I don't need to stress out about these people being stupid and blocking someone cutting someone off and you know deleting people and whatever it is because they don't resonate with me so it's not meant for me I don't need to stress out about that I can easily just detach and keep doing what I gotta do and, like, just hearing somebody else say that, I was like, oh, my God. Duh. And and it's funny because it's like healers need healing as well, which was another thing that I heard in the video. And I was like, oh, yes. Jeez. Because I'm a healer and I'm always helping and healing others and helping others find, like, that, that healing within themselves with what I give and put out for people. So, um, with... I was just like, yes, I need healing too. And that video was my healing because it was like, oh, duh, this is already in me. I already know these things. Now the, the dots are starting to like, I'm connecting the dots that I already knew were there. But like just hearing somebody else say it. Hell, Alexa, skip. I said play meditation music. Alexa, play meditation music. Okay. Meditation on Amazon Music. That wasn't meditation music. I don't know what that... Those was like instrumentals to like radio... Songs that are on the radio. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, so, basically, I was just like connecting the dots that I already knew and was aware that we were there. So, hopefully, for you guys watching this video before I get into Tarot of the Day, which I'm going to do in like 30 seconds, hopefully, you get some kind of aha moment that I had. Um... I, I really hope that does happen. So, with that being said, I will do um, a Mercury Retrograde video coming up soon, and I'm also going to be doing a Full Moon in Leo video coming up very soon, because it's actually in five days. So, I'll be doing that within the next, like, two days or so. Um, so, let's get into Tarot of the Day. Um, I have some crystals. I got Black Tourmaline, an Amethyst, and Rose Quartz. So, and Leela, she might pop in the video. She's sitting right next to me, but you guys can't see her. So, let's let's see. What is the message? What is the message for today? Oh, and, and a personal message for me. If you're noticing something just basically doesn't resonate with you, and you're like, I don't like this, or you notice something and it's like, oh, everyone else liked this, but this doesn't feel right to me, fuck them, move on. Don't, don't, just because other people are uh, being like, oh no, you're, you're crazy for thinking that this person is just uh, not a good person or whatever. And it's like, well, my vibes and energy say otherwise. Fuck everybody else and what they think and what they got to say. If you're getting that type of energy, detach yourself, go somewhere else, be with other people, go be by yourself. But that's happening for a reason because that energy doesn't match what you was and it's, it's, it just doesn't resonate with you, so go do something different. That that's my personal message that I gotta throw out there. Because of what's going on astrologically. But okay. Tarot of the day. Let's see what 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 is the message for everyone watching this today? What is the general message for today, for everybody? The Hanged Man. 
So this is kind of just, everyone's just kind of hanging around. Um, it's literally like nothing is neither here nor there. There's kind of no stress. You're kind of just waiting your options. Everything that's going on around you is just happening. You, you don't have any like pull towards I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that or even being indecisive about which do I pick. You're just kind of like letting everything around you just kind of happen today. And I, I really, I feel this big time. I'm definitely feeling this energy big time. And this is one of the, I think this is like a great energy when you allow it to happen without that stress of like, well, I don't know what the next thing is going to be. You don't have to know because the only thing that exists is now. And being present in the now is one of literally the best thing you can do for yourself, you know, and, and centering yourself and being at peace is just being in the now and not worrying about what you just did or what your next move is going to be. So this is really like, be present today, be present in the now and just let things be, just let them be. That is the most simplest message of the day. Oh man, I'm really feeling this. And that's that Pisces and Mercury happening again. I'm getting lost in a sense. Let that happen. Get lost. Because when you get lost, you're actually finding yourself. That's today's tarot of the day. I'm going to leave the links down below of where to contact me. There's Leela doing a cat stretch. I'll leave my links down below of where you can contact me for services that I do provide, like Reiki, tarot readings, and personalized spell casts, and then products you can purchase as well which is on my Etsy store for protection potions, money spells, love spells, and um, a cleansing pouch. I really recommend everyone gets the cleansing pouch, especially right now because we're really big on clearing things that no longer resonate with us. All right, guys, this was my tarot of the day and mini astrological spiel.